Hey, this is Donnie Smith, and uh, we've been working on this boat, and we discovered that our block has a crack in it. Crack. So, done a little research, and I heard that JB Weld might can fix that. So, we're going to put it to the test and see. We're going to see if that works or not. From what I found on research, they've, they've tried it, never really heard of it work. So, uh, we're going to give it a test. We'll take it to the lake and see, and I hope that this works. So, anyway, what you're going to need, this is regular JB Weld. Um, I went to the website just to see, you know, if it might work for this. It says it can work on cast iron steel. And you want to get just the original uh, JB Weld because it's a, uh, it's holds better, heat resistant. I think up to 600 degrees, and uh, takes a little longer to dry, but that's all right. You know, we'll let it dry. Uh, it says here 15 to 24 hours, and that's generally with any adhesive. The slower it dries, the stronger it's going to be. If it's real fast dry, I know that's beneficial sometimes, but it's not going to be just quite as durable, quite as strong. So, also do this. We went and got us a little Dremel tool so that we can clean that, that off. So we're going to need that. We're going to need the JB Weld. And also on their website, on JB Weld's website, basically gave two options. They gave acetone or lacquer thinner. That's the only two options they gave for cleaning. Acetone was a, it was a little bit cheaper, just a few cents, so you'd want to be fine, but we went ahead and went with the acetone. Uh, you'll need some rags to uh, clean it with. We got a few additional Dremel bits. We'll kind of experiment with that. So, and got some lighting. There's another one in there. Because I think it's real important too to be able to see real good. You know, make sure that you do, do have both ends of the crack, you know, you, you've got them located. First thing, unfortunately, it's inside of this, and that's why we got the Dremel tool, so maybe uh, we can get it in there a little easier. It's going to be a tight fit, not a lot of room to work. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take this alternator off, alternator off just to get it out of the way. And first before we do that, we're going to disconnect the battery so we're not uh, shorting anything. So we'll get the battery disconnected, get the alternator taken off, and uh, then we'll be back. Okay, here I'm using the acetone. I'm wiping it down just to get all the oils and grease off so that it's clean when I start working on it. And I got this Dremel tool, Dremel tool and now I am starting to uh, grind on it. And I'm basically just located both ends of the crack and trying to, to grind a groove in there so that this adhesive has something to hold to tight fit and also you know can get the camera in there there real good so it's kind of hard to tell what's going on but I basically got some different uh, Dremel bit tools to, uh, to try to clean this up and V it out okay first I was using a little wire brush that comes with it and that's to uh, just clean it up real good and now after locating each end of the, of the crack I'm just partially drilling in there to help prevent it from cracking any further. Now I've actually got a little grinding wheel that comes with the drill on. I'm starting to use that to actually grind into the metal like I was talking about so I can kind of cut that out and bee that area out so it gives the adhesive something to hold to. Now I've got more of a die grinder bit that comes to a point and what I'm doing this is just going right where the crack is just to help give that a little more depth for that JB Weld to hold to. And 
now I've put another end attachment on. It's a little round sander, and I'm using it just to go extend past the repair area so the JB weld will go past that and also adhere well to the surrounding areas. Okay, I got this JB glue here, JB weld, and it says to mix equal parts. So I'm just going to get it, mix it together really good. Okay, I got it mixed up, and I'm just going to apply it to that entire area. I'm going to use it like body filler. We push down pretty tight, hoping that's going to push down in that crack and in crevices that I'm maybe the groove that I ground out. What I could. Mix up a little bit more and put on another coat. Okay, we had problems getting it started, so we charged the battery up, and we went and got some of these muffs. Uh, try to get it started, so we don't have to run back to the lake. See if it works or not. So, okay, follow me, and let's see what happens. Okay, we got the water turned on, and let's see what happens. So the good news is where I repaired the crack at, it's not leaking and we've been out to the lake three or four times and that repair has not leaked. But the bad news is we found, you know, it was leaking, there must be another crack somewhere else. But we decided just to uh, go ahead and take the boat out and we've been out several times. And the repair hasn't leaked, uh, where, wherever else it's leaking from is still leaking. But we've been out the lake having a good time, you can even see my dogs out there having a good time too but i would say this works now if it works for the summer or a, you know if it's going to work for a couple of years i have no idea but it's worked three or four times you know going out to like three or four times so i'd say this works for temporary anyway now this test was a little different because i did it for myself i was needing to see if this worked or not but if you need something to test let me know